Hey guys, uh, so I posted a picture of this because I drug it out of the uh, corner of the shop um, to do some parts for the uh, Old Blue Willies project coming up and uh, had a people a lot, ask a lot of questions uh, about this thing. I never really did a lot of information on it when I built it. It was kind of rushed. Um, it was more of an experiment than anything. I just wanted to see if I could get it to work. Um, and it ended up working out pretty well. Uh, it's not perfect, but, um, you know, for a mobile, uh, 40 ton capable, uh, press brake, uh, that's got a 60 inch wide bed. Um, I basically built this thing to do a lot of eighth inch aluminum, um, and, you know, basically up to a full, uh, Jeep with, um, you know, 59 inch wide tub floor, um, things like that was kind of the main thought going into this. Um, I really wanted to try out, uh, this laminated die technology, um, idea that I'll show you here in a second. Um, and just a few other things. I, I built a lot of parts for the, uh, the LX 45, um, on it. And then, um, you know, just is what it is. So basically it is a, um, bottom up style press brake. So instead of having to have a large, um, truss on the, or a large height, um, basically it's using the dead space in the bottom to, uh, make the, make this, uh, go up instead of this go down. So it's just kind of reversed. Um, it just uses two, uh, Harbor freight, 20 ton bottle jacks, um, nothing fancy at all. Um, the framework is, I believe when I designed it, it was, uh, I built it to be, um, one stick of two by four by quarter inch wall box tubing, um, doubled up on the bottom, um, there. So one piece and two pieces, and then there's one piece of two by four in the top, uh, the movable bottom die. And then there's another little piece of two by two just to give it some more structure. Um, and then the side pieces, the adjustable legs and, um, so it was just kind of an efficient design. Um, you know, it could definitely be built stronger. It could definitely be built narrower, taller, whatever. Um, like I said, it was just kind of an experiment. Um, Anyways, so the top, the top truss, um, is collapsible. Basically you just loosen this up, pull this pin, these fold down. Um, and then it basically just makes it short. Um, the idea was I could store it underneath my welding table. Um, some, you know, just trying to save space in kind of a garage style shop. Um, but to have something that can do this, this size of material, um, was kind of a challenge. Um, the legs also have, you could do more than two holes, but these would just have a lower hole and then an upper hole. And you can basically just pick the thing up here with an engine hoist and repin it to be taller. If you want to work, um, you know, work at a taller height. Really, it doesn't seem to bother me to work at this height, like off of a stool or something. Um, it's fine. I'm not a speed fabricator or anything. I'm not doing production stuff. So, um, it works fine for me. Uh, some other stuff that was a little different. Um, so this is just a trailer hitch material that fits over two by two tubing. Um, it, this is the main structure, you know, uh, tie. You can actually pull the whole top, um, truss off. If you want to bend something around, um, like a full box. So you can actually bend all the sides and then, um, you know, basically pull this upper truss off and slide it out or slide the part out. Um, one end, um, these little guys, if it'll focus, these are just, um, brass set screws essentially, um, with little lock nuts. Sorry guys, it's not focusing. Um, there, there's some on either side and basically this allows you to, um, adjust the die, the upper die, 
um, a little bit to better meet up with the bottom die. Uh, just, you know, to square things up and take slop out. Um, so yeah, that, that is pretty easy. This is just another piece of that same stuff. Um, you know, all this stuff was pretty easy to get stock size stuff. Uh, I think this is just quarter by two flat bar stock. Um, and then I drilled all the way through. Um, so this actually holds the, um, the upper die in there's basically like a, a, a one inch box in here that the die is built for and then this just pinches it to hold it so when you lift up it doesn't fall out um, but the the dies are actually pushing on this truss piece which is a big piece of I think one by four uh, maybe one by three um, steel and then the truss you know gives it structure um, this could definitely be a little thicker. I think originally in the design I wanted one by five or one by six to make it more rigid. Um, but this was a free scrap from work, so I made it work. Um, you know, it does deflect a little bit, but, and as you can see, I think it's still in here, um, and it might show up in the camera. Um, you can preload the truss with this threaded adjuster so that it has a slight bow normally, but when you press with it, it basically ends up flat. And so you can tune um, that in for different widths of material pretty easily. Um, let's see what else is here. So this is kind of the built-in narrow sheet metal die. So this is um, basically just three quarter inch wide groove. Um, and you can actually bend sheet metal in this. It's a very narrow um, bottom die width, so the force goes up. Um, and it's just built in like a freebie almost. Um, and then these are kind of the, the normal wide um, bottom dies that decrease force. The wider the, you know, the wider that is, the, the force goes down. So these are two inch wide um, and they're modular. I'll explain that here in a minute. Um, and then this is just a rough depth stop that's adjustable. So you can, you can kind of get some bend repeatability. It doesn't work great. Um, these are the slides, same thing with the set screws. Um, so this slides up and down. Um, and then these are basically what kind of tension it and keep the wiggle out of it. Um, let's see here. So I guess the main thing about this is these laminated dies. So these are laser cut. Um, dies I'll show you kind of what they look like separate here um, so this is a top die bottom die there they were laser cut out a quarter inch thick material and then basically you just stack them together um, and and hold them together um, with a 3 8 um, piece of all thread um, to kind of form an assembly so you can vary the the die width and deal with flanges that come over the sides or whatever bend interference you have um, just by changing that it gives you a little bit more flexibility and actually this laminated technology wasn't that expensive to build dies for length like I don't know if you could buy machined um, dies off the shelf for any cheaper um, I think, don't quote me, but I think this was about $50 a foot um, to make. So that's kind of one thing to consider with large um, tooling. Um, the other neat thing with these, and it was just a little detail, but basically this is a single pierce part. So um, the laser only has to go in once and then go around to do this part. Like there's this little slot there to help that. So it kind of helps make the hole for free. Um, works fine. So, um, yeah, that is my big monster garage press break. Um, you know, uh, it works well. Uh, it does have some limitations, um, of course, like anything, but really you could rebuild parts and pieces of it to be, you know, whatever you want. You can build whatever dies you want. It's, it's pretty easy.